This is a quick walkthrough of Lab 1, Part 2, and it assumes you've done Lab 1, Part 1. And in this, this is where we left off. Uh, we're going back to Project, and we'll practice our saving. So we could save this, and it'll save it to the location we started on the desktop. Or we could do File Save As, and you could see that this is going to be saving this to our Lab 1, Part 1. Uh, uh, which is on the PC, on the desktop, so we're keeping everything together in Lab 1, Part 1, so we're able to keep everything together in this project. So we've got that project saved, and even though we call it Lab 1, Part 1, I'm going to do Part 2 in it, Part 3 in it, Part 4 as separate maps. Okay, so now, we, so this is our lab, our map for Part 1, our layout for Part 1. Now I'm going to go over to the Insert and insert a new map. And that map uh, is going to be just like the first one we started. It's got the, the default backgrounds on it, which I'll delete. And now I'm going to go to the Insert menu, from the Insert menu to the Map menu, and I'm going to do the Plus, and I'm going to add in the Wetlands. Now this layer for the Part 2 is showing you many polygons, but they're all displayed in the same color. Okay, so each one of these little outlines is, an, is a wetland, type of wetland, but we're showing them all in the same color. So the part of this part of this lab is to try and teach you how to show things in different colors, unique values in, in uh, each in their own color. So we'll select this particular layer. It's blue, so we'll select it. Right click, oops, right click and do symbology. Okay, and our symbology tab comes up and we, instead of single symbol, we're going to do unique values. And the unique value we want to show is not area, but is the wetland type. So all the wetland types will be shown as different colors. Okay, so that's the way our, um, uh, uh, that will uh, take our map one, lab one, part two will look. Now, the one thing we want to show you in the lab is the blue is all the uplands areas. Okay, these are all different types of wetlands, and the blue is just the upland. So we want to show the blue as no color. So we, we go to the U here, all right, and we're, we're actually going to do the little drop down, or excuse me, double click on the color, and we'll select just outline, and you can see that it turns off the color uh, for the blue. So we're just showing those which are really truly wetlands, and the uplands are just the white space. Okay, so that's what we're doing for part two. Now for part two, we've got to insert our layout. And here I'm going to insert a letter uh, on the layout. And I'm going to do the map frame. And I'm going to grab that map. And I'm going to draw the box on the piece of paper or where I want it to be. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to stop it while I add the title, the North Arrow Scale Bar and Legend. And I'll talk about that in a second. Okay, now I've added the, the proper pieces onto our map. Every map should have a title. Every map should have a legend. Every map should have a north arrow and a scale bar. Those are the things I'm grading on, whether you have the right content and whether you've got the right map properties. Now, I'm going to show a couple of little tricks that aren't in the instructions. You know, if you, a lot of people want to get rid of this box around, the, uh, around our subject. And if you select it, and you uh, and you were to click select that, and you could select then the that symbology. Uh, you could display. Excuse me, I said symbology. I got it selected, and I want to select the element, not the symbology, because I'm selecting that element, which is that map frame, and I'm going to turn the the border off on the map frame. Okay, so I've got the border off on the map frame and it just looks a little better. The other thing that is a little helpful hint that you might want to consider is this all other values. And if we were to select our, our wetland layer and in our symbology for the wetland layer, we were to go to the more and uncheck the show other values, you would see that 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 disappears too. So it's a little cl more cleaned up legend. Now, just like the other one, we, we have this on its own little layout. So we're gonna do share, we're gonna export that as a geo-reference PDF. 
and that'll go to our lab one part one folder uh, and I'm gonna change and this is layout two I could I could change this to be part two or whatever I want it to be and I'm gonna select export okay now the next two uh, lab parts of the lab I'm gonna walk through without any talking I'm just gonna step through all the the steps so you could see the workflow if you want to uh, thank you very much